Hey everyone, Sarasota Tim, coming to you from the Lantana, Florida self-serve car wash. How you guys like it? Let me tell you, I got this at Walmart, as I do everything, and it's protecting my neck back here. I knew I looked like a landscaper, but hey, it's like wearing an umbrella on your head. It is hot, really hot. Today I want to give you guys a review if you do your own washing of your car or truck and you know you want a, a good uh, chamois or something to dry your vehicle with, there's nothing, I mean nothing better than the absorber. I've been using the absorber most of my life. I've had two or three. Originally they, um, I'll stop in a minute, there's a guy getting his car dried over there. They originally came out with uh, a smaller one. This is the XL. I don't know where, why it doesn't say that. Anyway, there it is. I got it at Walmart. I think they're like $12. And over 3.6 square feet of water absorbed. Anyway, they really, um, let me show you the size of it. They ring out so easy. Uh, and they will suck up a lot of water. I might not have bought the XL. I saw XL written on it. Maybe you guys saw it on the box there. Why doesn't it say the XL? Either way, get the XL. It's a little bit bigger. This thing will dry your vehicle. Look at this. Look at, look at how spotless my windows and my car is. Right now we have, we have uh, like a hundred degrees heat index right now. It's only, I don't know, 10 in the morning. It's here in South Florida. I'm gonna go over and put my 34th coat of wax, 33rd coat, I forget. Uh, Shane will remind me. Anyway, uh, just wash it here in the self-serve. And this absorber, I just had to do a review on it. Um, I was using a beach towel for a while, got cheap on myself, and I didn't buy another absorber. I want to show you one more important thing about it, is the absorber has a hole in the, bo in the bottom. That's for one reason. When you roll this up, I can't do it with one hand, but when you roll this up, ladies and gentlemen, it fits back down in here. And there's a perfect, it's a nice hard plastic. There's a little lid I got back there in the back of my truck. It goes right on. That keeps it from drying out. It always stays uh, soft and slightly damp. It's designed to be that way. A lot of those old chamois, you know, the tan looking ones, those uh, raw hides, they're real slippery. They get dried out. And then you've got to find a hose and you can't just start drying your vehicle with them. There's not enough water on your vehicle to get them really that soaked or you can scratch your car. These stay soft, that's a big sewing point. So when you get one, um, you can see there, you can wring it out, uh, put it right in there and it'll stay nice and moist for you. Folds up very easy because it's not too big and it's not too small. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my absorber away then I'm gonna head over to the uh, Boynton Inlet and do some, uh, some waxing on it, take my shirt off, grease up and get a little color and I'm gonna crush it. <laughs> 